hmm look outside look at the terrible weather it is very murky very misty here today incredibly humid here in the UK in fact there it is look at that now right now outside my window everything is looking very misty very foggy welcome once again to another English addict live and today unfortunately I'm not feeling very well <laughs> so I'm looking for your sympathy today I need your sympathy I'm not feeling too well I've caught a cold two days ago I felt ill I felt slightly unwell and I knew straight away that a cold was on the way you know what I'm talking about it's that feeling that you get when your nose is burning and your throat is sore and suddenly your head feels like it is spinning round and round and that is how I feel right now I didn't sleep very well last night either so that hasn't really helped my health and temper to be honest <laughs> I stayed up for about three hours in front of the log fire keeping myself warm trying to comfort myself as I coughed sneezed and wiped my nose many many times so I suppose the big question today must be how many times will I sneeze on the live stream I don't know how many times it will be but I'm sure it might be quite a few so it's very murky misty outside there is another view looking into the back garden you can see everything is very strange today it is very I suppose the word is atmospheric it is a very atmospheric day here in the UK everything is looking rather murky I love that word by the way murky if something is murky it is hard to see or it is hard to tell what the reality is so maybe if you are looking out of your window and everything is murky it means misty however something can also be murky when we are talking about things that are done that maybe shouldn't be done things that are breaking the law so maybe a person is involved in some murky business something that is not completely legal so hello everyone I hope you are having a good week we have made it all the way halfway through the week yes it's <coughs> Wednesday <laughs> hello to you all thank you for joining me so I hope you will bear with me I hope you will understand the fact that if I make some mistakes if I suddenly sneeze or maybe cough or collapse on the floor the reason is because I, I'm a little bit under the weather so I suppose I should have stayed in bed this morning because I didn't sleep very well last night and I've got a stinking cold stinking cold so if you have a very bad fever or a very bad illness you can say that something is stinking so at the moment I have a stinking cold and I feel not very well to be honest anyway enough about me who wants to hear about me moaning about my health I'm sure no one does to be honest hello to the live chat hello oh a big special hello to Martha Martha Poland hello to you guess what you are first on today's live chat <laughs> oh. <laughs> I only just have enough energy to clap my hands I, I'm feeling very weak today unfortunately hello also sweetness 
Hello also to Vitas, Elena, Alamgia, Cecilia. Hello, Cecilia. Welcome to my little sick corner at the moment. Not feeling very well. I will try not to mention it too many times because I sh I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. <coughs> I have my special sweets to help my throat. Also, I have lots and lots of tissue paper as well just in case I have to wipe my nose blow my nose so I'm all prepared for that hello also to Bayan hello also Belarusia nice to see you here today Merva Luis Mendez nice to see you back as well Pedro Belmont Pedro it's Pedro Pedro Belmont is here Christina Christina I hope everything is okay the sound is not good now isn't it good oh I wonder why let me just have a look the sound is not good apparently oh let's have a look apparently something is wrong with the sound well at this end at this end everything is all right maybe you are talking about my cold perhaps I think so Maybe you are talking about my slight illness. Hello, Rosa, Irene. Also, sweetness again. Christelle. Hello, Christelle Robert. Nice to see you back again as well. Tan Chang says, you have a fantastic garden. Well, it normally looks fantastic. However, today <laughs> it is looking a little bit murky and misty. So that is the view right now outside the window it's looking rather murky mm. how many more times will i use that word today i don't know irene hello irene today we will be having another round of our new grammar quiz <laughs> if i survive called grammar lama ding dong and today we are talking about these words so I will be testing you on the uses of these words I will ask you some questions I will give you some sentences with certain words missing and what you have to decide is where those words go and which one is the correct word to use yesterday the weather was lovely actually yesterday in fact all this week we've had some lovely weather would you like to have a look at the glorious sunset that I had just two days ago so this is something I filmed from my my window at the top of the stairs in the house so here it is so that is the view the other night as the Sun was setting and as you can see this the sky was rather lovely in fact apparently the sunset was so nice <laughs> even people on Twitter were talking about the sunset so that was the sunset two days ago and it was rather nice a beautiful sunset and looking rather serene and peaceful as well unfortunately there is no sound to go with that so unfortunately all you have to do now is imagine the birds singing and try to forget about my voice talking over the top <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that the view out of the window the other night a very nice view it was so nice it was actually trending on Twitter but then again I suppose most things nowadays are trending somewhere on Twitter hello Theo I wish you get well soon did you have the flu vaccine well fortunately this is not flu this is just one of those seasonal colds that lots of people get at the moment and because of this of course I can't go to visit my mum in hospital so my mother sadly is still in hospital and because of my cold I can't even go to the hospital to see my mum because I can't spread my my cold to all the people in the hospital ward so that's a real shame I was looking forward to going yesterday to see my mum but I couldn't do it 
I was feeling too ill and of course if you are unwell it is always a good idea not to visit the hospital I think so Palmyra Noemi also Belarusia again Jimmy from Hong Kong oh hello Jimmy from Hong Kong apparently the year of the rat is on its way oh yes this weekend on Saturday it is the Chinese New Year the Lunar New Year kicks off once more and this year or should I say during the next lunar year it will be the year of the rat oh dear and apparently this particular star sign this lunar astrological sign apparently is supposed to be unlucky for those who had their birth sign the year before so if last year it was your birth sign a lot of people believe that the rat year will be unlucky for you oh <laughs> well that took a lot of explaining so thank you Jimmy for telling us all and yes of course this weekend a lot of people in China millions and millions of people will be setting off to visit their family a lot of family reunions take place during the Chinese New Year and it is the largest movement of people anywhere in the world millions and millions of people will be heading home to visit their family and of course you may have heard in the news that there is another outbreak of a serious illness which has so far affected quite a few people in China and also the first cases have been reported in the USA as well which reminded me of my time in China when I first arrived in China way back in 2003 you may remember there was an outbreak of something called SARS which is very similar to the thing that is spreading at the moment the coronavirus so it's very similar apparently it's not the same as SARS but so far no one is calling it SARS but it does remind me a little bit of, of my time in China when everyone went home <laughs> everyone left China all of the foreign students all of the foreign teachers and the foreign workers everyone left China in 2003 they all returned home I stayed behind <laughs> so I decided to risk it so I didn't go home and I had a rather nice couple of months and they paid me as well so they paid me to stay and do nothing <laughs> and everywhere was closed so all of the restaurants all of the places to eat were actually shut down because of the transmission of SARS so that's what happened to me during my time in China way back in 2003 so time will tell whether this is something similar we will have to wait and see what happens so a happy new lunar year of course in other countries as well people celebrate the lunar new year as well Mohammed Mustafa also Irene and Maria I'm saying hello to Maria <laughs> considering my my very sore and rough voice at the moment I, I, I thought that was very good what did you think I hope you are feeling well today my home is far away from China but I can find Chinese walking everywhere says Pedro I would imagine there are a lot of people in Brazil maybe working you will also find very similar situations in Australia and certain parts of Africa as well so certain African countries have a very strong tie with China hello also to Anne dear Mr Duncan I'm glad to join you or I'm glad to join your English lessons you are more than welcome 
I don't know how long I will be here today because I'm not feeling great I'll be honest let's cheer ourselves up yesterday I was in the garden and I decided to do something I haven't done for a long time I decided to do some filming of the birds on my bird feeder but not far away I wanted to get close up and personal with the birds Ooh. so there you can see in my garden some birds coming along to feed some blue tits and oh aren't they lovely I don't know why I love seeing birds very close up there is something magical about getting this close to a bird because quite often birds are very shy they don't like they don't like getting too close to human beings so there you can see a couple of blue tits on my bird feeder and they look very happy don't you think and here's another view oh come on birds ah there they are that looks like that looks like a blue tit as well a lot of blue tits feeding in my garden at the moment because there are no insects for them to eat unfortunately nothing for them I'm afraid I suppose the thing that makes this particular video clip so magical is the fact that you can hear the sounds as well I love it I love the sounds of nature so I hope you enjoyed that something to cheer us all up at the moment <laughs> Haile Kwang says I prefer I prefer it if you call it the Lunar New Year instead of the Chinese New Year well I was talking about the Chinese New Year because I wanted to refer to the fact that I know a little bit about it because I lived in China but yes of course we call it the Lunar New Year so that refers to the cycle not of the Sun but of the moon hence the word lunar <laughs> Asker, hello mr. Duncan I am sorry I couldn't see your la live lesson last time because I didn't have time it's all right don't worry I understand that you have lots of things to do I have things to do you have things to do so if you can't always join my live streams it's okay I understand it's fine I love the English language you may have noticed that I am a little bit of <laughs> there it is I'm a little bit of an English addict do you like English there are some very interesting words in the English language and here are some words that I'm going to show you now what I want you to do is tell me what all of these words mean so all the words that you are about to see have the same definition they have the same meaning and there it is the words are kerfuffle palaver ruckus brouhaha <laughs> and these are all real English words they are honestly so these things describe a certain situation but what kind of situation do these words describe kerfuffle palaver ruckus brouhaha <laughs> I will keep them on the screen for a few more minutes and then you can have a look at them kerfuffle palaver ruckus brouhaha they are all used in the English language but what do they all mean they all have the same meaning they mean the same thing Rosa says mr. Duncan what does it mean blue Monday ah this is something that people were talking about at the start of this week so on Monday apparently the Monday that we've just had this week apparently is supposed to be the saddest day for most people <laughs> I don't know why but they were calling it blue Monday 
so quite often on Monday I suppose people feel unhappy because they have to go to work they don't want to go to work can you blame them really <laughs> so blue Monday means a day that leaves a lot of people feeling unhappy and miserable and blue so we can use the word blue to mean unhappy your spirits are quite low your feeling is not good so blue Monday apparently last Monday the Monday that we've just had this week apparently is <laughs> is the saddest day of the year maybe it has something to do with the fact that January tends to be a very cold and very dull month as well so a lot of people don't like winter time especially here in the UK because it can be a little bit dull and there you can see outside now everything looking very murky and misty so I suppose I can understand why they would say that I can understand it so what do these words have in common they all mean the same thing kerfuffle a palaver ruckus brouhaha mr. Duncan these are like magical words like abracadabra open sesame <laughs> kerfuffle palaver ruckus brouhaha but what do they mean I will give you the answer in a few moments and then we will kick off with our super duper grammar quiz grammar lama ding dong hello also super boss hello super boss hi mr. Duncan what time can I learn English effectively every day well if you learn English every day of course you will improve quicker than if you only do it maybe twice a week so I always suggest that you should use English in your daily life you should learn new words every day and I never say that you can learn it in a certain period of time because learning is something you do gradually so I would never say to anyone you can learn English in two years because some people might not be able to for, for various reasons so I always say that learn every day learn some new words every day so learning is a process that happens gradually over time it happens slowly so never give yourself a time limit just carry on learning don't stop don't give up that's probably the best advice anyone could give you today fruit zombie yes ruckus loud noises kerfuffle being in a city sticky situation yes so these words actually refer to maybe an argument taking place or maybe a lot of people fussing over one particular issue so a kerfuffle there is a lot of palaver there is a ruckus there is a brouhaha so an argument maybe people are discussing a certain subject heatedly they are having an angry conversation we can say that they are having a kerfuffle there is a bit of palaver a ruckus and also brouhaha so these words all have similar meanings if there is an argument or a fight or maybe there is something chaotic happening outside maybe a group of people are arguing with another group of people we can say that there is a kerfuffle taking place there is a bit of a palaver taking place there is a ruckus happening right now outside there is a bit of a brouhaha <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed those words and yes they are real words honestly they're not made up I haven't made these up I wish I wish I could make these words up but I can't because they already exist 
here's another good word oh I like this word as well here's another word do you know what this word means Ooh, I love this word because it's small and it looks nice and cute I might wear it on my hat like that the word is fipple fipple is it a real word yes the answer to that question is yes it is a real word but what is it it is something you might see if you go to hear live music being performed oh fipple what is a fipple does anyone know if you are a musician if you are a person who likes performing music with musical instruments you might know what this is you might actually know what this is so what is it what is a fipple fipple Christina says brouhaha seems to be an American native word well it's used in the United States and also here as well it just I suppose you could say it is used in an amusing way to, to give a little bit of a light-hearted meaning to a situation oh there was there was a brouhaha next door last night <laughs> fipple what does fipple mean I like to hold my fipple and sometimes I will put it in my mouth and blow it fipple the word fipple is actually the mouthpiece of a wind instrument so such as a clarinet or a recorder so anything that you put into your mouth the small opening at the end is called the fipple fipple and it is found on almost every wind instrument something you blow here's another one one more noctambulist noctambulist what is a noctambulist a noctambulist oh I like this one does anyone know what the noctambulist or I suppose we can also say noctambulism noctambulism what is a noctambulist does anyone know does anyone know what it is when we talk about a person who is a noctambulist what are they what do they do it is a certain type of behavior that people do Rena hello mr. Duncan nice to see you long time no see or long time later hello Rena nice to see you as well welcome back I'm still here doing this and you can always find me here on YouTube every Sunday Wednesday and Friday from 2 p.m. UK time so there it is the time and you can catch me on Sunday Wednesday and Friday 2 p.m. UK time I know a lot of people are not getting notifications unfortunately here's an idea that I want to give you right now if you want to keep in touch with me you can actually like and subscribe so like this video and also subscribe to my channel as well and don't forget you must turn on your notifications so when we say notifications you will be told when my new lessons or when my next live stream will be on so please like and subscribe and I think I think I will be feeling quite well by the end of the day I really do hello also to Noemi yes a noctambulist well done Netra Noemi also sweetness <laughs> thank you
there we go noctambulist a person who sleepwalks they walk in their sleep noctambulist so this literally means night walker nocturnal ambulist a person who walks around at night when or while they are asleep so noctambulism is the action of sleepwalking and the person that does it is called a noctambulist Ooh, so I hope that helps you oh my goodness I, I what's this I I this this is a word apparently apparently this this is a word wait there a moment it's such a big one it is a very big word oh my god oh it's so big it's so big I can't get it into my hand here is a word apparently this is the longest word in the English dictionary or in the English language would you like to see it <laughs> so there it is there is the longest word that you can use in the English language I will show you again <laughs> oh my goodness that is a long word but I suppose the big question is how do you actually pronounce it well I will show you I'm going to cheat slightly so please excuse me for cheating so this particular word <laughs> I wish I could get it on the screen it's so big look at the size of that word it is a big one but how do you pronounce it how do you pronounce this word this is how you pronounce it phloxin or cinehilopilification <laughs> yes it's what that man said just one more time phloxin or cinehilopilification and here is the word <laughs> I will try to keep it on the screen so you can write it down look at that that is a really big word and this is how you say it phloxin or cinehilopilification <laughs> so I hope that helps you has it helped you I hope so what a big word but what does it mean this particular word means to spend time working out if something is worthless so you spend time researching or finding out whether something has no value some people might say that it is a waste of time to do this <laughs> so this might be a waste of time in some people's opinion so this is the action of finding out or working out whether something is worthless <laughs> and that's a big word I thought I would throw that in today as something different and special so I hope you enjoyed that thank you Hannah Hannah just asked what does the word mean I just told you the, the meaning I think there might be a delay on the live chat to study the uselessness of something whether or not it is useful or not is that word <laughs> which I'm not going to try Alan Gia says I guess it is bigger than supercalifragilisticexpialidocious well first of all that's not a real word that is actually made up so that is not a real word Ahmad is saying goodbye bye bye Ahmad goodbye 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 we are now going to have a look at something that I'm I'm fairly excited about I'm actually quite excited to do this you probably know what it is anyway already but here is something that I can't wait to show you and I can't wait to play with you <laughs> Valentin says printing that word was a waste of time thank you Valentin I saw what you did there ah, very clever I like it I like it a lot hello Guiten Guy or Guiten I am Japanese a big hello to you 
I have a lot of people watching in Japan so here we go then it is time to play the game that I know you will love playing now out there in YouTube land it's time to play grammar llama ding dong I'm very sorry about this I really am I'm not feeling too well today I've got a stinking cold however I'm still with you and right now we are going to play the game that everyone is talking about I heard someone yesterday talking about this game they were talking to a policeman at the time unfortunately so here it is grammar llama ding dong and today we are going to take a close look at these three words and how they are used in the English language a lot of people make mistakes when they write including native English speakers so even native English speakers get these words wrong quite often so we have the first word which is there and that particular word is used as an adverb then we have there same sound different spelling and also different meaning this is a possessive determiner so it talks about the possessive nature of something if something belongs to someone you can say it is their thing it belongs to them it determines the possessive clause and finally we have there again this also is pronounced there it is a contraction of they are so there are the words and the meanings there or there or there <laughs> but which ones are they as we start today's game of grammar llama ding dong Ooh, and you can play along i will give you plenty of time to, to come up with the answer so here is today's first question it's a question all about the use of those words once again I will put the words on the screen so you can see them Ooh. there or there or there <laughs> they are all pronounced the same way are you ready for the first one the first question coming up right now oh so here it is you will see that there is a word missing but which word is it something are many flavors that can be detected by your sense of taste something are many flavors that can be detected by the sense of taste but what is the answer which form of this word are we going to use i will give you a few moments to work it out something are many flavors that can be detected by your sense of taste but which one is it which one is it thank you Malanoa Pedro Luis Tanchang fruit zombie hello fruit zombie <laughs> I like your name I love your name in fact okay that's it time's up <laughs> what is the answer something are many flavors that can be detected by your sense of taste but which one is it is it this one is it this one or is it 
that one which one is it the answer is this one so we are using it as an adverb there are there are many flavors that can be detected by your sense of taste so there is the answer to the question would you like another one okay then no problem here we go again here is the next one we are playing grandma lama ding dong grandma lama ding dong oh okay do you know where something going tomorrow do you know where something going tomorrow all you have to do is tell me which one it is which one is it which one is it which one is it is it this one is it this one or is it this one which one is it this is going very well it's one of these but which one which one is it Marina Noemi Nestor David also Julie the pronunciation of these words are really the same yes they are they are the same and you will find them listed as having the same pronunciation even in the Oxford English Dictionary so there Ooh. is it this one is it this one uh, or is it that one which one is it okay <laughs> time's up time is up which one is it the answer is it's a contraction do you know where they're going tomorrow do you know where they're going tomorrow do you know where they're going tomorrow now some people might say they are they are but the standard pronunciation is there there do you know where they're going tomorrow so we are using the contraction form of they are do you know where they are going tomorrow do you know where they're going tomorrow Mm. that's what we're doing today we're looking at the differences between these words they are all used in different ways and that's what I'm testing you on right now shall we have another one okay let's have another one why not that's what I say Ooh. hmm we will meet outside something house at 2 p.m. I hope you're not because that's when I'm on you can't do that but which one is it which one is it is it this one is it this one or is it this one which one is it <laughs> Lewis Manaz says I can't run the live stream because my PC is overheating Wow well a lot of people say that I'm hot stuff I think maybe you need to cool down your computer I think it might be overheating it's just all the excitement I think that's what it is your your computer is getting very excited there it is so which one is it used in this sentence which one is it the answer is coming in a moment Cypris Eric Danelia Lena hello Lena nice to see you here again RHS welcome back nice to see you here as well but which one is it which one is it okay time's up
The answer is well a lot of you've got it right well done we are using the possessive form and it is there we will meet outside their house at 2 p.m. so this is the possessive use there refers to something belonging to a person or people we will meet outside their house at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Quite often nowadays, if you don't know the gender of a person, you will often use there as well. So you will often use this when you are unsure of what the person's gender is. And we all know how careful you have to be with that. Ooh. So there it was. Let's have another one. Would you like another one? OK, I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm feeling very happy about it. Here we go. Here's another one. I think something will be trouble over these changes. But which use of the word are there? There, there, there. <laughs> but which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Oh, which one is it? Oh, which one is it? Oh, which one is it? I think something will be trouble over these changes. Fruit Zombie. Noemi. Christina. Daniela. Good wishes. Oh, good wishes. Mmm, you might have got it wrong there. Ooh. <laughs> Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Welcome back. Nice to see you here as well. Hello also to Cecilia. Hi, Cecilia. I hope you are enjoying today's round of Grammar Lama Ding Dong. OK, time's up. Time is definitely up. Which one is it? I think something will be trouble over these changes. The answer is there as an adverb. I think there will be trouble over these changes. A lot of people saying this particular sentence in regards to YouTube. Mm, I think there will be trouble. I think there will be trouble over these changes so there it is the answer to that one I hope you're enjoying this if you're not enjoying it I'm ever so sorry <laughs> I'm trying my best even though I'm not feeling well today Alan Gia, also Cyprus thank you for your answers here is another one I will be going in around about 10 minutes time here's another one I don't like how Something always making fun of my clothes. This is something that I have to put up with quite often. Mm. When I walk down the road, people are always pointing at me and they are saying, what are you wearing? What? Are you going to the circus? Is the circus in town? So which one is it? Which one is it? Is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it that one? Which one is it? I don't like I don't like how uh, always making fun of my clothes. But which one is it? Ram Zanora. Thank you. Anne, thank you very much. Sweetness. Hanan. Also, Luis Mendez. Luis Mendez, nice to see you here again today. Thank you for joining me. Berlin for you. Welcome back. Also, I am enjoying the lesson very much, Mr. Duncan. Thank you very much for that. So, which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? 
I don't like how they are always making fun of my clothes so in that sense we are clearly going to be using the contraction they are so there I don't like how they're always making fun of my clothes I don't like how they're always making fun of my clothes so this is the contraction of they are I don't like how they are always making fun of my clothes in that sense we are using there spelt differently as a contraction of they are we have five more oh I'm going to have a drink of water because my throat is getting very dry if you want to get in touch with me by the way if you want to send me an email or follow me on Facebook or perhaps you want to make a small donation to help my work continue here are the addresses It doesn't matter you can answer I don't exclude anyone so don't worry about that it's fine by me it's fine Julie no problem hello Irene hello also flower hello Patchu. hello Patchu. nice to see you back here today as well I please accept my apologies my voice is not too good today because I've had a stinking cold in fact I still have it now so after my lesson has finished I'm going to take some more of my lovely sweets to help my throat and maybe blow my nose a few more times shall we have another one uh, let's have another one shall we I think it's something choice whether or not to come to the party I think it's something choice whether or not they should come or come to the party but what is it do you know what it is oh I think it's something choice whether or not to come to the party thank you Hiroko hello Hiroko have you just joined me thank you very much you have missed one hour of today's live stream I started at two o'clock UK time so which one is it which one is it my dear classmates please press the like button underneath this amazing live stream yes don't forget to give me a like you can give me a thumbs up and if you like what you see you can also give me a subscription as well you can subscribe to my YouTube channel everything I do I do for you and it doesn't cost you anything Ooh. so let's have a look what we have here I think it's something choice whether or not one is it I think it's their choice and this is the spelling a possessive determiner so a person's decision is their choice so if you make a decision and another person is talking about what you have decided to do it is their choice so your choice will be described as a third party as their choice their I think it's their choice whether or not to come to the party it is their choice I suppose also you could say it is their decision as well <laughs> well that's interesting that's very interesting <laughs> something very strange just happened to my live stream did you see it I don't know what that was anyway I think it's their choice as a possessive and there is the sentence shall we have another one yes why not here it is 
if I was something teacher I would make them sit something all day oh, there are two possible answers okay if I was something teacher I would make them sit something all day but which one is it which one is it <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if my internet connection just disappeared I wouldn't be at all surprised I really wouldn't <laughs> thank you Lewis thank you Pedro thank you also to Nestor so you have two answers here if I was teacher I suppose you can also say if I were if I were if I was if I were something teacher I would make them sit something all day but which one is it which one is it is it this one this one or this one which one is it so you have two to give me I need two answers Suzika Rosa Anderson <laughs> Julie also good wishes thank you very much for your answers there mm, very nice but which one is the first missing word and which one is the second times up <laughs> you should see the mess that that cockerel has left on the floor I have to clean all of that up later oh dear disgusting it really is so there it is I uh, if I was if I was or if I were their teacher I would make them sit I would make them sit there all day if I was their teacher I would make them sit there all day so the first one is the possessive the second is the adverb I if I was their teacher I would make them sit there all day oh, thank you very much I'm not sure if there was a break in the transmission then but I, I apologize if there was I don't know why <laughs> oh we have three more just three more mm. if something not here in five minutes we will go without them if something not here in five minutes we will go without them mm. if something not here in five minutes we will go without them but which one is it which word are we using in this sentence there is one word missing which one is it mm. is it this one this one or this one which one is it which one <sighs> you know I really didn't think that I would be able to do today's live stream because I didn't sleep very well last night my mum's still in hospital and I can't go to see her because I'm ill and they won't let me into the hospital just in case I make other people unwell because they they are already unwell so I'm sure they don't want me going into the hospital spreading my nasty bugs Lena says I like the rooster singing cock a doodle do if something not here in five minutes we will go without them time's up <laughs> what a mess <laughs> oh and there's an egg there as well it's unusual okie doke no problem fine Rosa thank you very much for your message there 
if something not here but which one is it if they're not here in five minutes we will go without them if they're not here in five minutes we will go without them if they are so we are using the contraction here of they are if they are not here in five minutes we will go without them we will we will leave them we will go without them fruit zombie thank you for the live stream i imagine that it can't be easy to talk whilst being sick or under the weather that's very true <laughs> you are you are not kidding it's not easy to do this i will be honest with you <laughs> especially when you feel unwell thank you anyway for your lovely wish there thank you fruit zombie we are having just two more and then i'm going so here is another one. Oh, we have two possible words so i want something resignations on my desk tomorrow morning or something will be trouble i want something resignations on my desk tomorrow morning or something will be trouble but which words are we using there which ones <gasps> there are the choices but which words are they which ones are they <laughs> i want something resignations on my desk tomorrow morning or something will be trouble martha christina netra maria thanks for your guesses Julie I think Julie is an expert to be honest I think so there there or there and as you can see the spellings are different as are the definitions as well thank you Maria thank you Ramzanura thank you very much Time's up. Thank you. <laughs> He's a very, very excited cockerel. I think so. I want something resignations on my desk tomorrow morning or something will be trouble. I want and we are talking. Well, first of all, we are talking possessive there. I want their resignations on my desk tomorrow morning or <laughs> there will be trouble. I want their resignations on my desk tomorrow morning or there will be trouble. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We have one more, just one more. And then I'm off. I'm going. I'm going to crawl back into my sick bed and go to sleep. Here it is, the final one today. Oh, oh my goodness, there are three. Three words missing. Three words are missing. But which one are they? Which ones are they? Here we go. Is it this one? Is it this one? Or. Is it that one? Which one is it? Which one is it? I don't know. Do you? Well, actually, I do know. Which one is it? Which one? Which one is it? Something all saying that something is reasonable doubt as to where something car was parked last night oh now this is not an easy one <laughs> this is not an easy one something all saying that something is reasonable doubt as to where something car was parked last night but what are the answers Thank you, Ma, Ma E. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Fruit Zombie. 
That's a nice, nice answers today. Thank you for getting involved. Isn't that lovely? Ernesto Farrar RHS. Thank you very much. Which ones are they? In fact, one of them might be the same. Oh. <laughs> would I really be that sneaky? Yes. Yes, I would. Time's up. Time is up. <laughs> the answer, first of all, to the first one. There, they're all saying that. There is reasonable doubt as to where their car was parked last night. They're all saying that there is reasonable doubt as to where their car was parked last night. Did you get them all right? How many did you get right? How many did you get wrong? Hopefully this will help you to remember the differences between these words. Thank you very much for your lovely answers today and also thanks for getting involved. <laughs> I must apologize again for my slight croaky voice and also the fact that I have a temperature of 120 as I stand here talking to you now. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't collapsed on the floor, to be honest. So I'm going now. I'm going to have a well-deserved lie down on the bed. I will see you later. Of course, I'm back on Friday, aren't I? Yes. So Friday, 2 p.m. UK time. Hopefully I should be feeling much better. <laughs> I really hope so. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Valentin. Thank you very much to Nestor. Gyoten watching in Japan sweetness thank you so much Mr Duncan thank you Mr Duncan I don't want to be rude but it is very easy task for all of us here well I suppose I could make them harder but then people will be complaining that they're too hard I tell you what you can do until Friday you can learn how to say this word is that a good idea there we go so there is the word on the screen right now so all you have to do is take a screenshot of that word and your homework is to pronounce that word before Friday. So there is something for you to do. <laughs> that is a very big word. A very big one. Thank you very much to Rosa. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you, Christelle. Thank you also to Julie. Fruit Zombie, thanks also to Martha, Grace, Rosa, and also to everyone else. I'm going now before people start telling me to go. <laughs> Someone got very angry the other day because I was taking too long to say goodbye. I'm going now. Take care. See you on Friday, 2 p.m. UK time. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching. Have a good week uh, and I will see you on Friday. And of course, until the next time we meet. Ta-ta for now.